So I made a video a while back of my 12 valve Cummins rolling coal.
drag trucks, they just seem like they roll so much coal all the way down the track. Unless they're spraying a lot of nitrous. Nitrous cleans up smoke. So that could be too. If you see a really fast truck, like a really fast truck, like a nine second truck or something that doesn't roll coal, it's probably got a couple hundred horsepower worth of nitrous. Also, big dyno numbers, right? <laughs> subject to be controversial but actually it's not at all uh, there's a thing called thermal dynamics and in internal combustion engines you see when engineers make an engine they don't just grab a bunch of metal parts and kind of throw them together and hope for the best right they're uh, carefully designed with physics and math basically in an engine application if you have an internal combustion engine and you introduce more heat into the engine it's going to make more power. That's just how math and physics work, right? That's not controversial at all. That's how it works. When you put more fuel in a diesel engine, it makes a lot more heat and it makes a lot more power, okay? The turbo isn't spooled by particles. It's also not spooled by pressure, like that article says. It's spooled by heat. And the way you get more heat in a diesel engine is by putting more fuel in rolling coal. Anytime you have a nice, clean tin, on a straight pipe truck. Now a lot of these newer trucks, they actually do roll coal. It just doesn't come out the tailpipe because they have so many exhaust after treatments that get rid of the soot. But if you have like a straight pipe diesel that just has an open pipe right after the turbo, if you're making maximum power, it's going to smoke. It might smoke a lot if you haven't turned up a lot. Um, it's good and bad, right? It makes power, but if you make too much heat, you can melt your engine, you can melt your pistons, bad things can happen. So if you're trying to make maximum power, having smoke's a, a good sign. I was watching one video recently on YouTube. I saw LeVon Miller on it. Now, if you haven't heard of the LeVon Miller, he's uh, the owner of Firepunk Diesel. And I'm pretty sure his drag truck is the fastest. It's definitely one of the fastest. I think it might be the fastest diesel drag truck out there and you know he uh he and anybody else who really knows how to make horsepower they say things like this heat is energy heat is horsepower so you have to have energy to make the horsepower but too much heat will damage your engine and that's absolutely right you know it's too much of anything is bad but i just think it's funny when you see all these all these trucks that roll coal all oh, this guy's an idiot he doesn't know how to tune a truck it's a bad tune this and that and the other I just think that's funny because those are the trucks that are performing the best at their sports. So if it is good and it does make power, why does it have such a bad rap? Why do people say stuff like that? And I think that's an easy question to answer. Um, that I would think it would stem from probably the tuners, right? The tuners are probably saying things like, well, that's a bad tune. You know, let me make you a good tune. And from their point of view, that, I think that would be correct because... If I'm a tuner and I turn up your truck, I'll give you the super hot tune, right? That will melt your pistons if you late, if you stay in it for too long, okay? Like, my truck rolls a lot of coal, but if I were to tow with that thing and just lay the pedal down and try to climb some big hill, I'd melt my engine for sure. Whenever I'm towing, I gotta keep a close eye on my exhaust temperature gauge because if I give it too much fuel, it will melt your engine, okay? So, if you have somebody who's not careful, if you just have some average get Joe come in and he tune his truck and he goes out and melts his engine down, he's going to say, well, I had so-and-so tune my truck and, you know, it ran great when it was stock and then I took it to him and he tuned it and now it's blown up, right? 
So then he'll go through another tuner and he'll be like, oh, that was a bad tune. You know, I'll, I'll give you a tune that's nice and safe and it doesn't smoke. And, you know, it's, this is a good tune. That guy gave you a bad tune. And I don't think that's really necessarily true. Um, you know, for a daily driver, you don't really need a big, hot, smoky tune. And all the newer vehicles are all electronic and they can you can put different tunes in them and it's a lot easier to kind of fine tune it, right? Something like an old 12 valve, if you want the ability for it to make a lot of power and go fast, it just has to stay in there, right? You have to change parts to put a different tune in it. There's not a computer in an old 12 valve. So, you know, whatever parts you have in the engine is how it's gonna run. I like to keep mine where it can make a lot of power, but when I daily drive it, I just don't hit the gas that hard, right? So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. It can do everything. So I just wanted to touch on this topic a little bit. Everybody was asking me about it. And I think it's funny that like the general consensus is wrong. Uh, having smoke does make power. Um, but there are people that, that do stupid stuff. Like, like you can take, if you blow an intercooler beat, right? Or if you take an intercooler beat off, it's going to smoke because the engine's giving it fuel like it, like it has turbo pressure and it doesn't. And that makes less power because you've taken the air away, right? Or if you like cover up your air filter where it doesn't get much air, it'll smoke a lot. And that obviously doesn't make more power because <laughs> anytime you take air away, that doesn't make more power, right? However, now that you have this smaller amount of air and it's rolling cold, it actually is making more power than if it wasn't rolling cold. If you took away the air and the fuel, it'd go much slower. So whenever it's rolling coal, you know, as long as it's not white, it's probably making you go faster. Um, when I drag race my truck, it smokes pretty good and it gets really hot. It probably gets, I think, 1600 to 1800 degrees which is incredibly hot it's definitely hot enough to melt your pistons however i only stay in it for a few seconds so i kind of compare it to like holding your hand over a campfire you got campfire there's flames shooting up you can take your hand and just breeze over it and you know it'll get a little warm it's not going to you have to go to the hospital you're not going to have burns on you right but certainly if you can't hold, hold your hand over that for a few seconds it's definitely going to burn your hands. So it's kind of like that with your pistons and stuff. They can they can be exposed to a lot of heat for a brief period of time, but any more than that, you're gonna you're gonna have problems. So hopefully this uh, opens up some people's eyes. Um, like I said, this is a, this is a, a scientific fact. If you have more heat in your engine and your combustion chamber, you're gonna make more power. That's what an engine is. It converts heat energy into mechanical energy so that's not a controversial statement at all that's just how engines work so uh thanks for watching and i'll catch y'all next time